Hi, this is Lena Rao with TechCrunch TV. We are here with Darren Bounds, founder of startup ClickSet um, and new startup Path2, um, which is disrupting the online job space and, and could be compared to an eHarmony for jobs. Uh, Darren, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. No problem. So tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing in the job space. I know that um, you're adding a, a bit of intelligence to uh, you know, finding a job and, and uh, you know, for employers to find the right candidates. Yeah, I, I, I often use the analogy of, of eHarmony for jobs. And, and really what I mean by that is that um, by getting a, a deeper understanding of a job seeker and kind of what they're about personally, professionally, as well as what their passions are, and combining that with a deeper understanding of a business and, and what it takes to be successful in a particular role, um, we use that information to basically identify compatibility between a person and a job at a company. And um, we found that it's very, very powerful and it should really change the way businesses connect with great talent um, and also the way um, consumers or job seekers connect with their ideal job. So take us through the product a little bit in terms of what are you evaluating, um, you know, what sort of data points and characteristics are you evaluating between, you know, these jobs as well as uh, empl potential employees sure. uh, when matching? Yeah, so from a user's perspective, um, the kind of three tenets that we're, we're looking at are their personality, um, their experience, and their passion. And from a personality perspective, we kind of want to get an idea of where this person is in their life and what's important to them. Um, one good example of that is uh, you know, a, a new college graduate versus somebody with a new family. On paper, their work experience and their professional profile could be very, very similar, but um, because of the personal priorities in their life, the kind of position that one, uh, each of these people are looking for is entirely different. Um, the college grad may be interested in kind of a high-risk, cutting-edge startup um, that maybe isn't offering benefits or, or is sacrificing some personal um, attributes that maybe the person who has an, uh, a new family just can't sacrifice. They need a little bit more stability and um, maybe benefits are, are going to be much more important to that person. So we kind of look at that from the personality perspective. Uh, we also look at um, your traditional resume. Where have you worked? Where did you go to school? How do those... Um, how does that experience relate to the jobs that we have in our system? And finally, the passion perspective, which, which is actually really fascinating to me. Um, we're actually using social data through integrations that we have with Twitter and Facebook, as well as some more niche communities like Dribbble and GitHub um, that are focused on technology and design um, to evaluate <clears throat> what this person's interests are. What are they passionate about? Are they engaging in conversations that relate to specific jobs or even to a business that a company is in? And you know, what is their reputation? What do people think about them on these niche communities? If they're contributing on GitHub, what kind of technologies are they involved in? How many people are engaging with them? Are they part of any important projects um, within kind of the, the software engineering community? And same with, with Dribbble and, and the design communities as well. And we use all of this information to really inform our, our algorithm and come up with what we refer to as the path to score. And that's basically a zero through 99 measure of how compatible we feel a particular person is with a specific job within our system. Yeah, so tell me, you know, I'm curious from the employer point of view, is this a pain point for them? I mean, are they sort of looking at the existing um, job boards and uh, hiring um, applications and saying, you know, we need something better that's matching us with the right people? Yeah, so there's two, there's two really great value propositions um, from the employer's perspective. One is because we're going through proactively and analyzing um, all of the positions that we have in our system and, and identifying who the appropriate um, job seekers are for those roles, we actually reach out and, and connect with those, um, with those job seekers even if they're not in the system. So. We kind of, I refer to that as the passive candidate versus an active candidate who's in searching for a job, maybe because they don't have one. Um, top talent, particularly, 
particularly in the Bay Area, they already have great positions, but maybe they're always interested in the next great opportunity when it comes along. And um, because we're doing this proactive analysis, we can reach out to them. Once they connect their information to Path2, we're going to analyze and update their profile on an ongoing basis. And when a really great opportunity comes along that really matches um, their personal tastes and experience, we'll reach out to them and connect them. So on one, on one hand, um, a traditional job board, a, a monster and indeed, um, they would have they would have completely missed that type of a candidate because they don't have any personal insights into the job seeker and they aren't proactively going out and reaching out to them and trying to pull them back in and connect them with this great job that came along. Do you sort of see like LinkedIn <coughs> as, a, as a competitor or, or branch out? Yeah, to some degree. Um, you know, the way that they're looking at information is, is quite a bit different than the way we are. I mean, ultimately their goal is to connect um, businesses and um, employers. You know, right now, uh, when, I, when I think about LinkedIn, LinkedIn is, is used heavily by recruiters. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a different type of tool. I mean, you can buy access to people. They're not necessarily focused on the quality of the connections between the business and, and the job seeker. And that's really fundamentally our focus. Like, we really want to uh, identify a really deep, meaningful bond between the job seeker and the candidate. The other great value prop for the, um, for the business as well is, you know, if, if you're a, if you're a uh, kind of a, say, a marquee startup, if you're like an Evernote or an Uber and, and you're posting positions, you're getting a lot of engagement on those positions. People want to work for your company whether they're qualified or not. So on one hand, we're marketing to the ideal candidate, but mm -hmm. when people apply within our system, the employer sees the score. So we actually provide them with a ranked list of who we feel are the top candidates that they need to pay attention to. So if you get 100 or 150 or, or more applications, which is kind of a story that I'm hearing from a lot of the customers we're talking to for a particular role, we're going to be able to identify who the top tier candidates within that huge pile of applicants that you can focus your attention on. And I understand that you um, have raised some funding. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we, um, I'm happy that we, we have a strategic partnership now with ADECO, which is a very large staffing company. I refer to them internally as, as Uncle ADECO. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've raised um, uh, $1.5 million from them, and um, we'll be featuring positions from them as well in the system. Great. Well, uh, Darren, thanks for joining us, and uh, congrats on the launch. Thank you very much.